where the United States test fired an intercontinental ballistic missile today in response to North Korea and letting them know, hey, look, here's another warning for you guys. You better stand down. Okay, we know North Korea hasn't been intimidated, but things are amping up very quickly here when it comes to possible war with North Korea. Now, this particular missile, it was, this is what they call it. It was the Boeing BA made Minuteman 3 missile, okay, that they had launched today. All right, now the Minuteman 3 is an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of carrying nuclear warheads. Uh, however, this one that they test fired was unarmed, okay. That, look at the price tag on this, guys. Back in built in the 1970s, each missile had a price tag of seven million or more than 40 million in current dollars. Since the initial production run, the Air Force has made upgrades to the Minuteman III, including modern targeting systems. Now, the missile test produced from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California set a Minuteman III about 4,200 miles to a test range in the Marshall Islands. Colonel John Moss, the 30th Space Wing commander, said that the launch, quote, was an important demonstration of our nation's nuclear deterrent capability. The test launches like this one are vital to validating the effectiveness and readiness of our Operation Nuclear Systems, so it is critical that they are successful, Colonel Moss added. Okay, so... We're going to now here's the question we got to pose. If Kim Jong Un test fires another nuke, what will the response be? Today China has something very interesting to say to North Korea, which China's pretty much their only ally that they have. They said if you test fire another nuke, if you test fire another nuke, then you will reach a point of no return. When it comes to your relationship with us, which pretty much means that if you test fire another nuke, whatever relationship you think you had with us before, you no longer have. So you want to talk about being an isolated country. They will really be an isolated country there. And don't expect China to defend them because they won't. Not after the relationship that Trump has built with So not after that relationship with China's President Xi Jinping. It's not going to happen. All right. So, guys, we are on the verge of potential war. Will it happen? Remains to be seen. Again, I hope cooler heads can prevail. I really do. But I'm going to continue to bring you guys this news and information as it comes in. So I want to keep everybody informed out there. And I want to be able to let you all know what we need to pray for in this time. All right, guys, I'll put the full link below if you want to check it out while you're here. Subscribe to my channel, CardsFan480. I am here on YouTube. You can also find me on Periscope if you want to check me out over there. Most importantly, though, guys, if you've never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to, please let me know. Just leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I promise you. It'll be the greatest decision you ever do make. I'll continue to keep you up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates, guys. So just keep it here. I've got you taken care of. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Be safe out there. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.